So let me show you a couple of the reasons why I hesitate and uh, have an issue with this. If I'm working with this uh, camera set up and it's in this mode, and I take my hand off and I'm not working on just like that, all I have to do is a small shake. Let me show you again. So you know, I'm shooting, and now I want to review my images, and I go and look at them, and I just touch the screen and it falls off. So this is very dangerous, doesn't work well. Also, <laughs> got to reset this whole thing. It's rather difficult to do um, once it, it does that. And what it is, it's the safety feature uh, that is actually falling off. So now if I'm actually in this way, if I'm shooting and I'm working with this and I'm holding with both hands, it's fine. But I tend to want to be able to do something else and, you know, one or two shakes and it's come off again. This is not what you want to see with a camera and a phone combination totaling about $1,000. I have the wrist strap on here, and once again, they don't provide the wrist strap with uh, the device, mainly because you know you want the one to do the same thing, like that, just like that, it comes off. So this is the serious drawback. Well, this camera has potential. It's not going to go uh, and be popular with anybody when it's breaking iPhones because the iPhones are falling off. This is a very... Uh, uh, important feature to be aware of, and I do hope that DxO finds a way to solve it.